Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Falcon and Red Wing. It's the original Falcon and Red Wing. Welcome back to another HeroClix USA video. I'm Alec Muster. Today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Black Panther set. Uh, I'm super excited to be opening this. Thank you again, Papa Whiskits, for sending this early. I'm not too familiar with the whole Wakanda thing. Obviously, I know what is there from the MCU and what they've brought in us and everything they've brought in us from the MCU. Uh, Black Panther was good and then the second one was meh, but uh, I'm excited to see kind of what the Black Panther lore scape has. So, without further ado, Let's just crack right into it. Uh, we'll save the legacy card for last since I uh, typically have been doing them first. So we'll save this for last. I'll put it right here so we don't forget it. And then we'll open up booster number one. All right, so let's dive into booster number one. Let's see what we got. Okay, so starting off, we have a rare. It looks like uh, Ironheart. It is Ironheart, awesome. Um, we have Amadeus, Cho, and Kirby. We have Miles Morales. We have Ironheart. That Miles Morales, I'm already looking at it. It's already pretty cool. We have Akoyi. Akoyi. Oh, just please bear with me with these. And then we have uh, Black Panther, the common. So let me get these figures out real quick. Ironheart is team player, has champions, Latveria, Stark Industries, Wakanda, Armor Scientists. Traded Perplex when Ironheart uses it to target a friendly character that character can use improved targeting hindering until their next turn. And then also has free if Ironheart has two action tokens, make an attack. Okay, that's pretty good. She has two point values, 115 and 30 points. And that 30 point looks pretty decent actually, but we have to see what her special attack power is. So let's take a look at that. She has pen side precision strike, range, and has four thunderbolts. So four targeted. Make a range attack and instead of normal damage, each hit tar targets are dealt one damage and given an action token. Okay, so she can use a ranged action to instead target up to four characters and then deal one damage and are given an action token. So obviously with Precision Strike, you're dealing at least one damage. So that's really good. Yeah, seven clicks deep, pretty good. Flight, five range. Yeah, I can see this being used in Pulp a little bit. I think it's uh, pretty de decent. Traded Perplex is really nice in giving people improved uh, Targeting hindering is obviously very good. So yeah, so obviously there's a lot that has yet to be discovered in this set yet. Um, so let's move on to the next one. Booster number two, let's see what we get here. Oh, man, I love that hero quick smell. Okay, so we have, it looks like a rare M'Baku. That's awesome. Oh, we got another Misty Knight. Uh, aim Agent, we have seen a Aim Agent. Uh, we do have Storm, which is interesting. She's a she's a common common Storm. Uh, we have uh, the Dora Melage. I think that's how you pronounce it. We've seen that as well. We've seen the Dora Melage. That's pretty cool. So let's keep on going. Let's look at that Baku. Alrighty. Ooh, 70 points or 50 points. Improved movement, hindering, and characters and Wakanda, Brute, Ruler, and Warrior, and also the Wakanda team ability. So we're seeing a lot of stealth in this, obviously, because I think most of these characters have had the Wakanda team ability, and it is copyable, so. So he's got a trait, leadership, power. If no characters have been placed this turn, choose an opposing character that damaged, that damage a friendly character with the Wakanda keyword since your last turn. Place in Baku such that he can make an attack targeting the chosen character, then do so. Okay, so it's kind of like a pseudo colossal retaliation. Uh, you have to do a power action and it's specific with the Wakanda keyword, um, which is himself. So, but that doesn't, but I mean, you're, if you're gonna do a power action anyways, you might as well just do a power action just to attack. He's got Baku's Might, which is Precision Strike and Quake as a special attack power and you can play him at 70 or 50 points. He is a rare, um, and for 20 extra points, you might as well just play him for an extra 20 points because he has higher attack values and one, two, three extra clicks and a little bit a little bit more of a damage boost. But yeah, obviously a super big close tacker with Precision Strike and Quake. Okay, so that's it. For number two, let's go to number three. All right, here we go. Number three, I see some figures that I've seen before. Oh, okay, oh! Oh, I think we got the Wedding Black Panther. Um, so, 
We have uh, Mr. Killmonger, which we have seen, so I'll put him over there. We have the rare Black Panther, which is actually really cool. Uh, White Wolf, I have not seen White Wolf. Uh, General Everett Ross, 25 points. Um, we have already talked, those have already been showed off, so I don't wanna spend too much time on them. But now we have Black Panther, I believe this is the King of Wakanda wedding Black Panther. He has Avengers Wakanda Ruler Warrior. If Storm's on the map, every character is considered adjacent to him if they have the Wakanda keyword, so that's pretty good. Uh, at the beginning of the game, choose another friendly character that shares a keyword with Black Panther. At the beginning of the turn, if the chosen character is on the map, heal Black Panther one click. That's pretty good. He has improved movement, elevated terrain. He's 75 or 50 points. That's kind of a tough call. I think it's worth it to play him at 75. For extra 25 points, actually his attack doesn't really go up. He's pretty deep for 50 points. He uh, starts on four and KOs at 10. So and that's about, that's it. Interesting. Okay, so I see this figure actually being kind of cool. Uh, Avengers Wakanda Ruler Warrior. Having a Wakanda Ruler team is really nice. And then that uh, Everett Ross can perplex. There's gotta be something with this. He's your leadership, he's your enhancement as well. And if Queen Storm's on the map, which I'm hoping, I think we have seen Queen Storm if I'm not mistaken. Queen Storm also does some cool stuff. So yeah, okay, so we have our third rare, Black Panther. So let's get right into booster number four. Here we are, booster number four. Let's see what we get here. Um, oh, interesting, it looks like an AIM agent, but uh, it looks like the AIM agent's colored differently. We have a storm, we have a midnight, midnight angel. We have seen this figure. Um, this was uh, showcased at World, World, excuse me. Um, he, he's a sideline active figure, it's very interesting. Okay, so, so far we have four rares, um, and so far, uh, I think all these rares are pretty cool, and Baku and Black Panther are pretty awesome, so let's keep on going. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Uh, it is a rare, it's, but it's Spider-Man, it's Miles Morales Spider-Man, it's the one we were just talking about. It looks really cool with the lightning bolt taser uh, ability that he has, like the little, the poison, the venom shock, whatever it's called. Uh, I think actually that's what Black Widow is called, but he has that little taser thing he can do. Avengers Champion Shield, Spider-Man Family, and Celebrity with the Spider-Man team ability. He has stealth traded, opposing lines of fire, can't be drawn to Spider-Man if he's occupying or adjacent to a non debris terrain marker. That's pretty nice. I love that kind of stuff. That stuff makes me uh, that stuff is just super cool to me. Just you can't be targeted or lines of fire can't be drawn to Spider-Man. I think that I wish more figures that were more stealthy had that kind of stuff. So persistent strike when Spider-Man hits after resolution, give each hit character an action token and he can target up to three characters. He also has a special defense power that has combat reflexes and super senses that is through click one through five. And then also on his click nine and 10 without, wow, that, Wow, that is a really good, I really like that uh, secret identity. That made it hypersonic speed starting out on that secret identity. The issue is also, um, also number one, amazing Spider-Man, I love that. I think that's awesome. But that was not a pun. I'm not, not the amazing Spider-Man, but I think it was an amazing Spider-Man. All right, brick number five, uh, six, excuse me. So we're officially through the halfway point and I'm very excited to see what else we get? I mean, we already have five rares, so hopefully we start pulling some, some goodies here soon. And, okay, so we have some interesting stuff. That's super rare? I think this is a super rare. We have Falcon and Red Wing. What's a super rare, I believe? I could just look at the uh, set list. Yes, it is. Okay, yes, yeah, sorry, just double checking. It is a super rare. Falcon and Red Wing have the team player team ability, Avengers Animal Martial Artist, and then they have a one, two, two traits. When Falcon and Red Wing starts the game, generate a Red Wing bystander. If Falcon and Red Wing are a part of a theme team, when a friendly character would be KO'd, you may roll a D6, four through six, place that bystander adjacent to Falcon and Red Wing. Okay, so interesting. So uh, if you if a bystander gets KO'd, you have a 50-50 shot of just bringing, if it's saying 
no, I'm not gonna be KO'd and then put, placing adjacent to Falcon and Red Wing. So that would include uh, the Red Wing bystander, obviously. Um, I know like, for instance, Camo is an animal who creates sharks. And I know sometimes you probably wouldn't have that shark die anyways, but any animal that's generating kind of that kind of stuff. An animal, Avengers, martial artists, Avengers works with Hawkeye and Hawkeye with Kate Bishop, which is very interesting to see how that would do. So yeah, a lot of interesting stuff there. Uh, toughness traded and then double slash. When establishing theme teams, you may choose a friendly character named Captain America. Falcon and Red Wing gain all the keywords of the chosen character. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, he has outwit, sidestep, combat reflexes, and a special attack power on his top click. He's 40 points for zero range. Interesting. Red Wing, go get him. Telekinesis as free, but to only target bystanders. Free. Make a close attack, but only to target a character that a character named Red Wing hit this turn, regardless of adjacency. Sorry, I'm like trying to, I'm trying to process that. Choose it, make a close attack, but only to tar, oh, regard, oh, so you can just hit people. I can see some weird spaghetti stuff happening with that, but that's really cool, so. And that sculpt is really cool too. Obviously you'll see it on screen. He really works best with bystanders if he's on a themed team. So I get, camo is the first thing that comes to mind, but if I'm missing something, let me know. Anyways, let's jump into the next. Boost number seven. We're very much past the halfway mark and I'm hoping this is where we get all the good stuff, baby. So, okay, so we got the rare Killmonger, which I have not seen yet. This is more the comic book looking one. The uh, female Black Panther, Shuri Black Panther. We have the Dora Milaje, which we have seen. Very interesting. We have uh, Luke Cage, which we have seen. But then we have uh, <laughs> Vibranium Man and uh, Killmonger Rare, which I'm very interested to see. And now we have our rare Killmonger. Okay, so Killmonger has the Wakanda uh, team ability. Wakanda, Assassin, Ruler, Soldier, Spy, and Warrior. As a trait that says, when Killmonger starts the game, generate a Prey bystander, and then can carry one, but only to carry Prey. He has another trait that says, Persistent Strike, when Killmonger would, or Prey, KOs an opposing character, give Killmonger a Scar Token. Free, remove a Scar Token to choose one. And then there's two options, which, uh, <laughs> uh, part of it's cut off, unfortunately, by the improved targeting adjacency, but we'll, I think I can still get it. Uh, pers uh, next time Killmonger attacks this turn, increase the damage dealt to each target by plus one. Okay, that's very good and make an attack, but only to target a character that are 20 points or less. Uh, he comes in at 70 or 35 points. 70 gives you a full six and 35 gives you three. He also has a special damage power on his last two clicks that say outwit when Killmonger uses it. If he gained or removed a scar token this turn, he may choose two powers instead of one on the same character. Very interesting, okay. Um, so assassin, I mean, this is a valid Thunderbolts option. Uh, also a valid uh, shield option with Mr. Excuse me, with Mr. Ross here. Interesting. I like this. I like this. Uh, I like the sculpt a lot. I wish. I, um, very interesting. He's got five range with three targets. Interesting. But I'm, I'm not too. Like I said, I'm not too help with with hip with uh, Killmonger and Wakanda in general. So. I'm not too sure where that comes from, but he said like energy explosion and stuff like that. So energy explosion precision strike is a great combo if you ask me. So this is our third to last booster. We have two more after this and then stick around for the legacy card. We'll see. Okay, okay. So, okay, so I'm sorry. I'm getting a little confused. No, okay. So, okay, sorry. So if you guys are looking at the uh, set list card, make sure you're following the colors, not the letters so at 042 captain america which is this guy he's the very first super rare but on the uh, card right here he is considered the he's considered a rare he has a little rare marker on it rather than an s so but his color is like that bronzes color so and then obviously all the chases here are on the back which they are all um deities so anyways let's take a look and see what else we got here all right so we have our first vibranium um, so I would assume that people can either generate this or you can just pay for it to be on the map. Um, we have seen Misty Knight, we have seen the AIM Agent, we have seen uh, Shuri Black Panther, and we have seen uh, the Purple Lady, Ramonda. 
but we have not seen the super rare Captain America. Very interesting, very interesting to see what it does. Captain America with the Avengers team ability has Avengers, Heroes for Iron Shield, and Soldier is the number 42 super rare, the very first super rare in the set, has traded leadership. When Captain America uses leadership and succeeds, this turn, when a friendly character uses the Avengers team ability, they may also modify their damage by plus one. Oh, I hate that. I mean, that's really good. Really, I'm just thinking like Hawkeye and Hawkeye, like, oh man, I just, they already have the Avengers team ability and now they're gonna have the plus one damage. That's just bananas. Um, see, that's a trait that says bird's eye view. When Captain America starts the game, generate a red wing bystander, perplex, and red wing can use perplex. Okay, so he gets perplex, but also red wing gets perplex. He's either 100 points and eight dials long for that, or 55 points and five dials long for 55 points. Trader leadership, trader perplex, very, very good. Um, the red wing, this is the new Red Wing, so it's very interesting. I have both Captain America and Red Wing and then Falcon and Red Wing, so very interesting. Uh, he's got five range and can uh, shoot out of adjacency. He's got a special attack power that says energy shield deflection. What? Interesting. A special attack power that says energy shield deflection. When Captain America hits and the attack roll was doubles, once per turn after resolution team may make a range attack, but only to target an opposing character within five squares of the original target, regardless of range line of fire. Okay, so um, uh, I believe this goes decently with the uh, Hellfire, the Avengers Hellfire Gala, because I think you can replace fives if an Avenger makes an attack. So um, being able to do that once is really nice. Um, I don't know if it's worth it to do it as your whole shtick, but very nice. The Red Wing uh, Bystander has Hypersonic 8, 12 Precision Strike, 17 Super Senses, and 1 Enhancement in its tiny size, and has the Flight Team ability, very, very good. Yeah, I can see this being used a lot. Um, so, yeah, I can, I can see this being a very decent piece, um, maybe on Avengers teams. Having Perplex and then having two Perplexes is really nice. Perplex, period, Red Wing can use Perplex. Yeah, I'm getting that right, so. You do have two perplexes and a trade of leadership as well. At 55 points, he has sidestep that energy shield deflection, but also has a range combat expert. Yeah, I could see this totally being a thing. So yeah, I like that a lot. All right, we're down to our last two. So let's, let's see what we got. All right, we're cracking, we're cracking. We are opening and we got a rare vanisher, interesting. Um, so we have seen Miles Morales. We have seen, uh, what, we have not seen the Wakandan scientists. Very interesting. All right, Vanisher. Uh, Brotherhood of Mutants, Hellfire Club, Marauder, Sword, X-Factor, X-Force. Uh, has the Brotherhood uh, team ability and then has a special movement power that says Fade and Teleport, Passenger 2. When Vanisher is given a move action, until your next turn, opposing characters can't target him unless they are adjacent to him. Okay, that's pretty good. So that gets around, uh, you just can't target them. So that gets around any lines of fire blocked, kind of uh, janky banananess or whatever. Has a special defensive power that says Super Senses, if no opponents have a Vibranium token on their sideline, Vanisher can use common reflexes. Interesting. Uh, pretty, 25 points, okay, never mind, very good. Has that wit for 25 points, it can carry people up to 11 squares. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I really like this piece actually, especially in pulp, this is awesome for 25 points. Wow, outwit and probability control. Yeah, I could see this being a thing. Absolutely, okay, Vanisher. Alrighty, last booster, let's see what Good old Wiz Kids has in store for us for the last one. This is kind of a chunkier. I could feel some bubble wrap, bubble wrap, so maybe we do get something. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Okay, a super rare Prime and also Hercules. Interesting. We have White Tiger. Interesting. Okay, so no, no Prime, no chases, but we do have a Prime. I mean, it's a super rare Prime on top of all that. Very interesting. It looks like they're going back to the old distribution ways. Okay, so let's take a look at White Tiger Super Rare Prime. White Tiger has the Avengers team ability. At the beginning of your turn, you may generate a Chi Tiger Bystander, max one. So that's the beginning of your turn, so already off to a great start compared to the other bystander makers. Or removed a friendly Chi Tiger Bystander from the game. Interesting. 
She is 40.7 clicks deep for 40 points. Jeez Louise can has an uh, improved targeting, improved movement, elevated and characters. So let's see what else she does. If a chief bystander is not on your force, white tiger takes a maximum of two damage from attacks and modifies her attacks plus one. Okay, okay, I see, I see it. <laughs> However, uh, the chi tiger has five movement sidestep, 12 attack blades, claws, fangs, 18 impervious, and is giant size with four damage and is zero points. Wow, she's got really good stuff. I think what, I don't know if, obviously she's 40 points, so obviously, man. So she is mystical and martial artist Harold. I didn't even see that, holy smokes. Her keywords are aim, avengers, heroes for hire, animal, deity, herald, martial artist, and mystical. Holy smokes. All right, let me know what you think about that. Um, but before we go, we have a legacy card to unravel here. Now, um, I don't know what legacy cards they have as of recording. They have not been announced yet, so I'm going into this incredibly blindly as we pulled Ooh, okay, Colleen Wing and Misty Knight. The, uh, from The Amazing Spider-Man. Okay, cool. Let's take a look and see what they do. They have the Avengers team ability, have Heroes for Hire, The Hand, Detective, Marksman, and Martial Artist. They are at 40 or 80 points. And they have one, two, three different lines. Interesting. Colleen Wing and Misty Knight start the game on either click one or click six. If they are 40 points, they are KO'd when they cross the red KO line. Otherwise, they are KO'd when the click they choose to start the game is revealed when taking damage. When Colleen Wing and Misty Knight are 80 points, once per turn when they attack, after resolutions, they may make an attack, protected pulse wave. Okay, so that's very interesting. So she's kind of, you can start on click six for 80 points or 40 points and they cross the red. Okay, I see, I see what it is, interesting. They have zero range and they can, <laughs> they can shoot out of adjacency. Cool. <laughs> oh dear. Um, oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad that I, I, I said, I, I spoke a little too soon. Sonic Cannon, knockback, range five. When Colleen Wing and Misty Knight make a ranged attack, opposing characters can't use shape change. Pretty good. Uh, and then that's, so that's on her click six. Um, but then also under click six, she has power action, choose an opposing character. If that character is KO'd this turn, score five victory points. If Colleen Wing and Misty Knight are 80 points, they instead activate this power for free. Interesting, okay. So um, her stats are very, very low in general. Um, obviously if you have this figure, like super, super cool, um, Colleen Wing and Misty Knight, very, very interesting because they have a full entire dial, which is not very common. Uh, overall, I would say I would give this review a set um, very good for the theming of Wakanda. Uh, very heavy in the obviously Wakanda theme. Obviously, it's Black Panther themed. I mean, also some of it is just personal taste. I'm not a huge Wakanda fan in general, but there's not nothing wrong with it. Just I just don't know a lot of these figures. I, like I'm not gonna be like, oh, Claw, I'm so excited. <laughs> so, but the Spider-Man is really cool. Both the Falcon and Captain America are awesome. White Tiger looks super cool. There's also quite a few cool commons and uncommons. I really like Thunderbolt here. Uh, em Everett Ross making people shield TA. Um, this Vibranium man is kind of goofy. So overall, I would say this is a very good, solid six out of 10 set, very fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or if you wanna tell me what your favorite figure that's been pulled or previewed already, let me know. And we'll see you next time where we talk about all things HeroClicks.